In this lecture, we're going to concentrate on the segmental bronchi and naming those segmental bronchi. Uh, just a quick review. Of course, this is the trachea. The trachea bifurcates into the right and left primary bronchus or main stem bronchus. From there, it's going to branch into the lobar uh, bronchi, uh, also called the secondary bronchi. And since the right lung uh, has three lobes to it, we have the uh, secondary bronchus here, a secondary bronchus here, and then one down here. And then coming off of the secondaries are going to be the tertiaries. So here's the tertiaries, also called segmental bronchi. And if we look at the left lung, again, here's our primary, our secondary, secondary, and then the tertiary are the ones that are colored here. Again, those are the segmental bronchi, and that's the focus of this lecture. So let's start off with the left uh, side here. Again, we have three lobes to that lung, and so this is going to be the upper lobe or superior lobe, and so this segment is going to be the apical segment, posterior segment, anterior segment. Then we come down to the middle lobe, and the middle lobe is going to give us a lateral and a medial segment. Now if we come down to the lower lobe, the first thing we have to do is turn this around, and we'll see the superior segment of the inferior lobe. And then we turn it back around. These are all going to be uh, basal, so this one is pointing medially, so this is the medial basal segment. This comes out straight, so this is the anterior basal segment. And um, the best way to kind of learn this is through a pattern. And if we do kind of an X, well, if this is the medial basal segment, if we do an X and come down on the diagonal, this is going to be the lateral basal segment. And uh, the same here. If this is the anterior basal segment, then this will be the posterior basal segment. Okay? Now, let's look at um, the left lung and compare it. Now, if you remember on the um, right lung, we have the apical, posterior, and anterior. Here, I blocked that. So the apical, posterior, and anterior segments. But if we look at the other side here, since we only have two lobes, some of these segments are going to combine. And so instead of having an apical and posterior, we have the apico-posterior segment and the anterior segment. Now instead of having a middle lobe, we're going to have an area of the lung called the lingula. And uh, we have the superior and inferior lingular segments. And then if we look over at the basal segment, again we're going to have to turn it around. And so this is going to be the inferior lobe, so this is the superior segment of the inferior lobe. Okay, just like we saw on the other side. Turn it back around. Here's our basal segments, and remember we had a medial basal segment and an anterior basal segment. Here they're going to be combined into the anteromedial basal segment. And again, if we're going to do our crisscross, this one, well, here, this is easier. This one is a little bit more medial, so we go on our crisscross. This one must be lateral, so this is our lateral basal segment. This one is a little bit more anterior, or at least it's analogous to the anterior on the other side. And so this, on the crisscross, is going to be posterior basal segment. So let's go over all of them one more time. On the right side, we have the apical, posterior, and anterior segment. On the other side, we have the apico-posterior segment and anterior segment. On this lung, the right lung, we have a middle lobe, so lateral and medial segment. Here we have a lingula, superior and inferior lingular segment. 
when we get to the bases on this side we turn it around superior segment of the inferior lobe turn it back we have the medial basal segment the anterior basal segment let's go crisscross if this is medial lateral basal segment this is anterior posterior basal segment on this side the inferior lobe again we turn it around we see the superior segment of the inferior lobe turn it back around anteromedial basal segment if we go on the crisscross this is anterior this is going to be posterior basal segment if this is medial this is going to be then the lateral basal segment I hope this helps.